your cheating heart will make you weep. Hey guys, Angie here. It is very low cal oh, round three, phase two. Very low calorie day five. Down one point four pounds. What? That is a total of nine point eight since my loading weight. How about that? Okay, yeah, we're on. My sweet husband is cooking me supper right now. What are you making, honey? Taco salads. Taco salad. Now I'm a little concerned about this here taco salad because every time I have taco seasoning, I swell up like a toad frog. This could be the end of all that is good. I hope not. So I think tonight may not be a quick one. Sorry. I've been really, really super quick here lately, so yeah, this one's not going to be. I have many things to talk to you guys about. Come here, honey. Say hi. I just let you guys meet my sweet husband. Come here. He's been sick, so really sick. hard. And Sorry. he's still cooking me supper. Isn't that sweet? He's so sweet. I love him, except for when I hate him. That's the hell tell you that, too. <laughs> well, okay. I'm trying to get all my props close to me. So any of you guys that checked on Facebook, you know I was up till 3 o'clock last night. And then when I went to bed, I still couldn't go to sleep. So I had to get up at 6, so I went to sleep at 3.30, so that's two and a half hours. Right? I'm actually doing pretty good. I hope I am not phasing through another one of those can't sleep things. I think I kind of know what happened though. I told y'all I went and helped my mom yesterday. And um, she makes the best coffee I've ever had. It's, it's, it's not like, I don't know, I, I want to say truck stop or family diner type coffee. I don't know how she does it. I don't know how she does it. But she drinks full force coffee. And so I had three cups of her coffee. And I usually drink half-calf only in the morning. So I had three cups of her coffee. And then I took her to the doctor and her doctor told her, she needed to drink uh, hot tea, green tea, with um, sliced up real ginger root, five slices, thin slices in her tea, and it would help her with uh, her respiratory infection, and according, it, it seems like it'll do anything to heal you, so we went and got ginger and tea, and so then I drank two cups of tea with her also. Yeah, right. And I had a soda on the way down there. <gasps> oh, yeah. And you guys are probably thinking, this is not pop. This is not pop. Well, hmm. Sorry. But anyway, yeah. And then I had a little bit of chocolate delight yesterday, but not too much. What else? Oh, I accidentally was giving myself too much cortisol, which is um, can make you, like, stay awake. I take it because of my low energy Thing, whatever's wrong my cortisol levels are off so whatever that, I'm ranting I've got two and a half hours of sleep y'all are just gonna have to deal with me tonight mm-hmm let me look at my notes uh, so several people have tried my famous chocolate delight and I am getting rave reviews and I love the way people modify it hold on hey Tara would you go in the bathroom and get that orange syrup I was gonna um film in the bathroom but the lights too blue and it makes me look deader than I already am. Let's show you guys some evidence. Mm hmm If you watched the vlog on Sunday this was full and another one just like it was full. And now this one's empty and the other one has five pieces left in it. But obviously that doesn't slow me down because I'm dropping it like it's hot, baby. Where is my husband? He can't find it. It's probably here on the counter. Oh, here it is. Sorry, I found it. Oh, you can get my Walden Farm salad dressings out of the fridge. That'd be great. So, um, 
I'm sorry I can't remember names real well. Right now I can't remember anything real well. Brazilian Girl, I think, is your, your handle. She talked about she put orange extract in her chocolate delight. And that made me think of those. Do you guys remember? I haven't seen them in the last couple of years, but they were Terry's orange. They were in the shape of an orange, and they were orange chocolate. And you could usually find them at Christmas. And my husband, Terry, that's his favorite thing. But anyway, that made me think, hmm, I think that would be good. So I made a little trip to our drug emporium, and I got me some orange da Vinci syrup because I don't have all that Capella drops and liquid stevia. That liquid stevia is higher than a cat's back. It is expensive, like $15 for a little thing of it. And I know it probably lasts a long time, but I get this for five bucks. And y'all all know that I am like, like seriously cheap. So I'm going to make some orange chocolate delight. Yay! This could only be a bad thing. What else? Oh, I told you guys yesterday I was going to tell you about B12. When I talked to Miss HCG Girl last time, before I ordered my juice, we were talking about doing B12 shots. And you're supposed to do them intramuscle. I can't do it. I am a puddin'. I am a puddin'. I tried giving myself intramuscle shots. I don't even know what it was I was shooting up with. Oh my God. But um, anyway, I think I ripped my muscle because I flexed my leg and I was like crippled. So. I'm not doing it. I got plenty of fat and I, I researched a little on the internet and I actually found a place where they said it's better to give it in the fat because it absorbs slower so it stays in your body longer. So what I'm doing, I am just um, mixing it with my daily dose of juice, half and half, because if you try to do that B12 stuff all by itself, oh my gosh I am a pudding it hurts I'm not doing it by itself I tried it and thought I was gonna have to just go squalling in another room so and uh, Miss HCG girl did a video about how to do the shot no these are the little vials B12 she gives herself one a week of them one of these has lasted me like I think it'll last all week because I'm just mixing it half and half so I think that's pretty good and I'm getting some every day which who knows that might have something to do with my abundant energy too B12 and then some of y'all have asked me about what type of juice I'm on this time and what I did last time because my last two rounds sucked I of course you know I'm not exactly an angel anyway if you've watched any of my vlogs you know that but um I thought I took Ovadac last time Obviously, I didn't because I ordered it this time and I ordered what I didn't take last time. I have no idea what I took. I could probably go on All Day Chemist's site and look, but I'm afraid I'll get a virus. I'll only go on their website at the public library. So I don't know what I took last time, but I did not take this and I have not taken this yet. I am currently on Hucog. I tell you, this is the juice for me. It is awesome. I've got that's that's all it could be because God knows it's not me it's not me watch some of my old vlogs it's not me so Hugh Cog is a good one what else do I have oh just a little and this is nothing to brag about really because so many people have done so much better than me but from my initial HCG starting weight and when I first did it I didn't count my load weight but Rachel told me I'm supposed to now so I do but from my initial weight, before I ever loaded, the first day before I loaded, I am down 23.2 pounds. Of course, it's been slow go, but guess what? If I weren't doing this, I'd be up another 10 pounds probably. So, yay for me. What else, what else? I wanted to show you some other things I got today. Walden Farms, oh God, Honey Dijon. Not much. I wish they'd give me my money back. I'm going to try to find a way to make it better. I, I did it and it was so nasty. I put real Dijon um, mustard on top of it. That didn't do it. So, this is my favorite. The balsamic... Good God. Good. There it is. Balsamic vinaigrette. 
it's got nothing in it. Well, it's got probably enough chemicals to kill you, but so does the air. So that is my favorite. That's a good one. These are $2.79 at my local drug emporium. And then um, one of my buddies, can't remember who, was talking about having barbecue, but she wasn't going to get to have barbecue sauce. Hmm. You don't have to do without. Walden Farms has a product just for you. This is the Hickory Smoked Barbecue Sauce, and it's pretty darn good. So, you know, beggars can't be choosers, right? That's right. What else? What else? I'm looking. Mm, nope. Mm. Told you about that. Told you. So, this is going faster than I thought, but I do have a little problem I need to bring up with you guys. My BFF, Cindy, uh, her family's coming to town, her mom and dad and her brother, and her mom, Cindy, let me give you a little background here. Cindy is the best cook, right? The best cook. You will probably, the southern cook, southern cook. If it, it doesn't matter what it is, it's good. I don't know how we're friends, but anyway, we're friends because I have to go over there and eat. No chicken, just meat. But, um, so her, her, peep, her peeps are coming to town. And her mom, my mamma used to make great fried pies. And I, I've not tried since she died. I haven't even, you know, I used to help her, but I didn't know the secret. But anyway, her mom is going to come. And um, we have a date for Thursday to make fried pies. And I got an email from Cindy that says she's going to make homemade ice cream to go with the fried pies. And she said she's going to throw some burgers on the grill. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you guys, she could put a tree stump on the table and it would taste good. So this is, mmm, the big temptation is coming my way in two days. Oh, that reminds me something else too. You guys know how at the beginning I do my little countdown and I do my five, day five, day I started thinking, what am I going to do when I don't have room? Day six, six, I don't know, I may make a little sign day six so yeah isn't it funny the things that worry me it's, it's really sad in so many ways I'm shooting this from the kitchen bar today so y'all don't have to watch Chug lick his bottom for 10 minutes I think that's all I've got honey is that all I have oh looky he said hold on I'm gonna eat in front of you oh yeah that's good I'll let y'all know how it does me in the morning I hope it's not bad. Love you guys. Bye. You're cheating hard.